So, the movie you all been asking for, where we will be following along a group of misfits, a brash daughter with a criminal record, an intelligence officer for the Rebel Alliance, and the best comic relief to ever exist. I've got a bad feeling about hey. Quiet. What? Among many amazing others. <laughs> Will these misfits band together to take on the mightiest weapon in the galaxy? Even at any cost. Only one way to find out, people, because we're watching. Are you with me? time of conflict, a group of unlikely heroes band together on a mission to steal the plans to the Death Star. Wait, what? <laughs> what? A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Ooh, it's been so long since a proper movie. Ooh, where are we? That's really pretty. So this is after the last prequel movie, right? After Revenge of the Sith? <gasps> oh no, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Was that who I thought it was? Is that Matt, Matt Mickelson? No, I'm just imagining that. Get, get your things, it's time. No, it is! <gasps> it's a fellow Danish! Hell yeah! I, I, I recognize Matt Mickelson whenever I see him. Hello. So, it's happened. He's come for us. Who's he? Who's he? You know what to do. Who's he? So we do know that the Empire at this time is focusing heavily on seeking out all of the remaining Jedi and even those who are just force sensitive. I'm wondering if that's the case here with the child. We'll find out. But Matt Mickelson, that's a nice surprise. Oh, I didn't know that. Also, you guys mentioned that Rogue One is one of the movies or even the only movie or project content that Disney has put out for Star Wars that you guys actually like. So I'm having high hopes for this one. Remember, whatever I do, I do it to protect you. He's so handsome. I understand. He's so handsome. I love Matt Mickelson. I love you, Stardust. Love you too, Papa. Stardust. All right, so he's definitely going to die, right? <laughs> the daddy, Matt Mickelson, is going to be out. <laughs> I feel like in the next five minutes, whatever I do, I do it to protect you. I love you, Stardust. He's going to die. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yep, he's out. Was nice knowing you, Matt Mickelson. We hardly knew you. <laughs> what a Viking. You know where to go, don't you? Oh no, they're all gonna sacrifice themselves for her? Trust the Force. She's Force-sensitive. They're gonna stall them so she can get away. They have been waiting for this moment for a very long time, it seems. For this day to happen. They are prepared. You're a hard man to find, Galen. But farm. Really? Man of your talents? No. It's a peaceful life. Lonely, I imagine. Since Leo died, yes. Oh, he's lying. Oh, my condolences. Search the house! <laughs> my condolences. I don't believe you. So, a man of his talents. What is it you want? The work is stalled. I need you to come back. We were this close to providing peace security for the galaxy. Oh, was perhaps um, Matt Mickelson. I, I, I didn't quite catch his name. Galen? Maybe he was working for the Republic together with this man, but then the Republic was taken over and became the Empire, and Matt Mickelson was like, you know what? Peace. I'm out. Ta-ta. <laughs> and now they want him back, because apparently he is a man of great talent. You're confusing peace with terror. Well... I have to start somewhere. <laughs> no, what's that kind of logic? You gotta start somewhere. For security, you gotta reign terror so there's control over society and they don't step out of line. Is that where you're going for? I'd be of no help, Krennic. My mind just isn't what it was. You're an inspired scientist, but you're a terrible liar. Yeah, kind of. Oh, no. Oh, look. 
Here's Lyra back from the dead. Yeah, and now... Why? That's stupid! Why? Why? If they... Oh, now I'm already frustrated. <laughs> and not that I, I'm not intrigued, but they clearly already talked about this day coming and prepared. At least it seemed to be that way because he put up the lie so she could get away with the kid and now she comes back so they now know, okay, he's definitely lying about everything right now, not just his wife. Now they definitely know that he is lying and he's not to be trusted it because Lyra, Le Lesla, his wife has come back from the dead. What else are you lying about, Matt Mickelson? And if they had talked this through, follow up with the plan. Maybe the wife, he was like, I cannot leave my husband, but I'm just gonna leave my child there. But if you planned, to me, it's like, if, okay, if you set up a plan, if you waited for this day to come and you prepared for it, follow the plan. If this was the plan, then it's a stupid ass plan because why would you make him lie about the wife being dead if she comes back? Ah! I recognize the council has made a decision, but given that it's a stupid ass decision, I've elected to ignore it. Stop! Okay. Oh, Lyra. Why? Troublesome as ever. Y okay. You're not taking him. No, of course I'm not. I'm taking you all. Oh, well, that's great. As heroes of the Empire. Okay, that makes sense. She's she's a menace. Girl, you will never win. Do it. Girl, why didn't you just run with your kids? Now you're all gonna die. Child. Now the child doesn't have a daddy nor a mommy. That's Lyra, I'm sorry. You might be a menace, but that was just plain stupid. I'm just gonna say it. No speaking ill of the dead, but that was just stupid, Lyra. <laughs> a toy stormtrooper? Clone trooper, probably. Poor baby. Hi. We know you. My child. You were on the phone. <laughs> what happened to daddy, dear? We have a long ride ahead of us. Ooh, Rogue One. Good introduction there. I mean, Mad Mickelson makes any series or movie, so. <laughs> but I don't think they killed him. They took him because he has a great mind and they needed him. Well, look at you, all grown up. Oh dear, <laughs> nice one night stand you had there, huh? She's in a prison cell. Girl, what? Okay, I was gonna say, where did your life go in the wrong direction? But we, we know, we saw it. Oi! I recognize you too. Many known actors. Ah, oh, he's from Dirty Dancing 2. I remember you. <laughs> I know he plays very different parts too. Hush, I just recognize him from that. I was about to leave. You have news from Jedi. An Imperial pilot. He's telling people they're making a weapon. The Kyber crystals, that's what they're for. Oh, what kind of weapon? The Death Look, Star? I have to go. What kind of weapon? A planet killer. Sweet call it. <gasps> The Death Star, obviously, and the planet killer, Alderaan in A New Hope. Do you remember that? I sure do. Come on, named Urso sent him some old friend of Saw's. Galen Urso. What's it? I don't know. Falling apart. Saw's right. There's spies everywhere. What's all this? Nothing. Uh, let's see some scat docs. Yeah, of course. My gloves. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> I knew it. And my gloves. I'll never climb out of here on my arm. Come now. Be alright. <gasps> oh boy. Okay. Okay. He is not your typical hero, is he? He's not a Jedi. Okay. Well, that just set the mood. I kind of like that though, because it's not black and white, but he's clearly interested in the Empire's plans and the plans for a weapon. But he has no trouble killing anyone who stands in his way for what his objective is. And if you are a hindrance or an obstacle, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> okay, okay, that's new and intriguing. It's gonna be all right. And then you smack it down. Jesus. Maybe it's a mercy kill. Because what would have happened if the troopers actually got to that man? Maybe a quick death 
is better than to be captured. Maybe, I don't know, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. I speak to Sukareva, I keep telling them before it's, before it's too late. Urgent message, do you guys not understand? Are all of these myth misfits coming together as a group later? I'm gonna form a band, I think. <laughs> the misfits. Oh, that looks like a dragon again. No, it's not a dragon. That was a person, a hooded person. It looked like Obi-Wan, to be fair. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, work cap. Oh, great. What did she do to get here? Because she's a rogue. Hey, rogue one, right? Ooh, they're gonna get bailed out, baby. We gotta hide. Uh oh. I'm gonna get out of here. Move at me. Oh, wait, what? Whoa, she doesn't trust them? What's happening? They were gonna break her out, but maybe. The second location is worse than the first. Congratulations. You are being rescued. <laughs> are you? Do not resist. You're currently calling yourself Liana Halleck. Is that correct? No. Action of unsanctioned weapons, forgery of imperial documents, aggravated assault, escape from custody, resisting arrest. I have no memory of this place. I don't speak without my lawyer. I don't speak without my lawyer. <laughs> deny, deny, deny. Jin Urso, daughter of Galen Urso, a known Imperial collaborator in weapons development. What is this? It's a chance for you to make a fresh start. Where do I recognize her from? This is Captain Cassian Andor, Rebel Intelligence. When was the last time you were in contact with your father? Fifteen years ago. Any uh, idea where he's been all that time? Well, maybe he's just captured by the Empire? Ambassador? I mean, if you have all that information about me, shouldn't you know about this either? I like to think he's dead. I've never had the luxury of political opinions. When was your last contact with Saul Guerrero? It's been a long time. He might agree to meet you, if you came as a friend. I was a child. Saul Guerrero saved my life. He raised me, but I've no idea where he is. I haven't seen him in years. What we need is someone who gets us through the door without being killed. You're all rebels, aren't you? Yes, but Saul Guerrero is an extremist. We have no choice now but to try and mend that broken trust. Okay, so not the enemy of my enemy. So we have the same cause because we're all up against the Empire here. But the man who raised her after being rescued is apparently an extremist. Hmm, that's why they picked her out of that truck in the hopes of getting through the door so they can use her to get close to him. Really, is that what you're gonna focus on? Why aren't you focusing on the Empire? I mean, if it, is he that bad? <laughs> I mean, if he's still causing a lot of damage to the Empire, your enemy, shouldn't he not be your your friend still like let him do his thing like you do your own thing you you do you you do you you want to bomb that that's fine but maybe if there's innocence involved but they're not exactly clean either i mean that ambassador didn't present himself as clean cut either by killing that man even if it was a mercy kill i, I wow, who are you to judge if i may ask <laughs> what does this have to do with my father there's an imperial defector in jeddah pilot. He's claiming the Emperor is creating a weapon with the power to destroy entire planets. Pilot says he was sent by your father. We need to stop this weapon what? before it is finished. We're hoping that he will help us locate your father and return him to the Senate for testimony. Ah, so Saw is not their main objective here. It's still her father and they're not going against Saw. They just need him. Like they need her for Saw. And on and on it goes. Get it, got it. Wait a minute. <gasps> I recognize you, Daddy Leia. Make sure you go free. Well, personal stakes here. Is she gonna go up against her dad in the end? But if he sent the pilot, what does that mean? Because he was forced to work for the Empire. I'm K2SO. Hello. I see the Council is sending you with us to Jeddah. That is a bad idea. I think so, and so does Cassian. Is that Cassian? Oh. What do I know? My specialty is just strategic analysis. <laughs> what do I know then? <laughs> Forget what you heard in there. There will be no extraction. You find him? You kill him. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. So is this a decision made by the Rebel Council or just by this guy? And it's a secret mission within a mission. Whoa. Uh, I don't think he will follow through on that. Maybe he did kill that man. Why does she get a blaster and I don't? 
Why is he so charismatic? What? I know how to use it. That's what I'm afraid of. Give it to him. I find that answer vague and unconvincing. <laughs> He's so funny. Trust goes both ways. Like respect thus. You're letting her keep it. Mm. Would you like to know the probability of her using it against you? Well, do tell. Do tell. It's I'm high. Okay, thank you. That's that's what I was thinking. Very high. <laughs> it's very high. So much personality. I like him. Da, 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 da. And who might you be? Deception! Is that what he became? Saw? Every day, more lies. Lies? That would I risk everything for a lie? I... No, we don't have time for this. I have to speak to Saw Guerrero before he can do that. Yep, there you go. Wow, what happened, man? Uh, that's for you. And I gave it to them. They did not find it. I gave it. <laughs> That's right, boy. You tell him. You stand your ground. You tell him. You did that, not them. Uh -uh -uh. Don't let them steal your credit. Oh, but what happened to him? He does not look so great. Oh, something definitely shook him up good. That was so dramatic. What? What does that mean? Oh, that does not sound good. What is that? Borgolet. Maybe the dad is trying to rebel in his own way. Interesting. Are we gonna see Daddy Vader in this? Because I would be very much here for that. I mean, we need a proper villain, right? Like a really big, big villain. No? I mean, I do like that these are characters we haven't seen yet and we are expanding upon the Star Wars universe. So that is very intriguing. It's the same in Clone Wars where we put a lot of focus on the clone troopers. And I like that here we're focusing on people that I have not heard of, but still fit very nicely into the Star Wars universe. But still, it never hurts to have a little bit of Daddy Vader in here. I'm just saying. Rumors circulating through the city. Apparently, you've lost a rather talkative cargo pilot. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I think this is the person in A New Hope. Probably not saying the right position, but either a commander, a captain, or that was in A New Hope that went against Darth Vader, I think, in a discussion. But they're clearly using advanced CJI to put him back. To, well, be, wow. I could be totally wrong. But this is this looks a lot like CJI from the man who was actually in the first movie in the 70s and now they have used and recreated his face again. Oh, that's that's interesting. I could be totally wrong, but I think I'm thinking I'm right. You have made time an ally of the rebellion. I suggest we solve both problems simultaneously with an immediate test of the weapon. Oh no. I will not fail. Eh, debatable. Slay though, your outfit is slay. Hey, <laughs> oh boy, the planet slayer. Oi, Matt, Matty Mickelson, I see you. What's the matter, Jim? Me, good friend. I'll always protect him. Stardust. Stardust. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna bring everything back. Wow, pretty. Whoa. <laughs> That's such an odd sight because you have what looks to be an ancient structure and then you have this little pillar over here and then you have this massive technological mm. ship. It's quite a contrast. <laughs> Definitely. What's with the destroyer? Because of your old friend, Sol Guerrero. What are they bringing in? What are they taking out? What are they taking out? Kyber crystal. All oh, right, for the... Remember why they were stripping the temple? Now we know. Yeah. It's the fuel for the weapon. Maybe we should leave target practice behind. <laughs> target practice? Are you talking about me? We need to blend in. Oh, come on. He's ship. a delight to have. He's like comic relief. We can't leave him. <laughs> Half the people here want to reprogram you. The other half want to put a hole in your head. That's I'm you. surprised you're so concerned with my safety. She's not. I'm just worried they might miss you and hit me. Poor thing. Doesn't sound so bad to me. <laughs> you love him? <laughs> He's sassy right back. 
I recognize that rock. It's the same rock in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. I recognize that rock. It at least was in the trailer. I know, I've edited tons of it. Hmm. Hmm. Re reusing shots? Are you Disney? I, do, I, I see you. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Ew. Sorry, I don't mean to be offensive, but ew. And feel your thoughts. What else can it feel? <laughs> no lie is safe. Okay, so what happened to him that made him kind of messed up in the head? Because he definitely seems messed up in the head. He didn't seem like that before. What happened on one of these missions, Saw? Because you're you're not doing that great, are you? <laughs> oh god! Na 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 na! Oh, I know where this is going. <laughs> They're waiting. We'll give her your name and hope that gets us a meeting with Saul. Hope! Great plan. Rebellions are built on hope. And luck. A lot of luck. Trade that necklace for a glimpse into your future. How did you know I was wearing a necklace? Well, that answer you must pay. Force? Maybe? Jedi user? Force user? Jedi? Former Jedi? What do you know about Kyber Crystals? My father, he, he said they powered the Jedi's lightsabers. Oh, so tons of it will make the Death Star an ultimate powerful weapon because we know what power the Jedi lightsabers hold. Okay, I didn't know that about the crystals. I know that they were a power-up, but, uh, okay. Let's go. Cool. Wait, no, I want to talk more about this. Strongest stars have hearts of Kaiba. Can we go back and talk to this scammer a little bit more? Because he's very interesting, though. I have to hurry. This town is ready to blow. Oh boy, oi, oi, oi. Yeah, this planet's gonna blow, alright. Face off! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh she's gonna help! Oh. Okay, Sauce Rebels are definitely extreme. Because they don't mind putting innocent bystanders in harm's way. And she is very interesting because we have found her while she was in a prison. And clearly they have documented evidence of her, well, not being the best clean cut girl there is. But then she sees a child in trouble and she still goes for it and helps them. I mean, she would be very unsympathetic if she didn't. And we wouldn't have someone to root for if they're not just a little bit charming. Oh, fuck! Oh, oh no! Well, that's your <laughs> in the B word! Oh, she feisty! I like her! Oh, he likes it too! <laughs> He's like, oh, damn! This is queen shit. Oh. Dad was not personal. <laughs> you know that wasn't me. Of course. I thought I told you to stay on the ship. She was a little bit shocked though. You could see it in her eyes. Like, oh, shit, I didn't actually mean to do that. I think I think she would have minded if he was actually the one shot. But she can't give up her cool girl act now. You did, but I thought it was boring, and you were in trouble. Cute. I love him. There are a lot of explosions for two people blending in. <laughs> Why is he badass? You're right. I should just wait on the ship. No, come back. I love him. Where are you taking these prisoners? These are prisoners. Yes, where are you taking them? He is taking us to- Quiet! <laughs> And there's a fresh one if you mouth off again. We'll take them from here. <laughs> okay. He enjoyed that a little bit too much. <laughs> we need to check your diagnostic. But I don't Diagnostics? Want to. I'm capable of running my own diagnostics, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> He's so offended. I love this man. I love this droid. <laughs> thank you very much. The force is with me, and I am with the force. I knew it. And I fear nothing for all this, as the force wills it. He's blind. Deaf. <laughs> Why is the dialogue so good? He's blind. Is he deaf? Because he's not listening. <laughs> the dialogue is really good. I like it a lot. Oh, this is gonna be good. I feel it. Oh, I like him. It's like a master samurai. Is your foot alright? Is your foot alright? Why is this so good? Yo, he's badass. What's his backstory? Can we get a movie about this guy? 
Oh! Hello there. You almost shot me. <laughs> You're welcome. Is your head all right? One of hostiles. One hey, hostile. He's with us. Oh. You're all right. Oh, I like that. Like I mentioned before, what I noticed, she was shocked when she accidentally shocked that double ganger of his. And now she's the first one to jump in front of him. She's good. She internally is is a very good person. She doesn't show it because she has a very hard outer exterior, but I like that she's the first person to get the kit and stand in front of the droid. Is this a good movie? Oh, who's this though? Jedi? There's no Jedi here anymore. Only dreamers like this fool. Yeah, I was wondering about that right before the scene because he is clearly muttering, may the force be among you or among others, the force is with me. But we know, especially in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, that the Jedi are very much being hunted. So I was wondering like, okay, why is nobody paying attention when there's so many stormtroopers around? Why is nobody paying attention to this guy? Maybe because he perceives to be weak, a fool, not a harm to anybody anymore, or just muttering rubbish so they don't take him seriously. But meanwhile, wow. But I was wondering about that, but okay, there's no Jedi. There's no Jedi to be found here, only this fool. Okay. I protected you. Can you get us to Saw Gerrera? <laughs> Wait a minute, that's hilarious. The dialogue is good. Wait. Oh, they protect me. I protected you. <laughs> He's so done. I love it. To get us to Saw Gerrera. Oh, you wanted to get there. Here are his rebels. Anyone who kills me and my friends will answer to Saw Gerrera. Kaji came now. Because I'm the daughter of Galen Ursa. Queen, leverage. Leverage. But I don't think. Are you kidding me? I'm blind. <laughs> Why am I enjoying this movie so much? It's so witty, which would be very fitting for the characters because they're not Jedi that are very uprighteous or are very righteous and upright. And here they're all rogue, so it makes sense for them to have more cheeky banter. And it's definitely showing, even though he is was a dreamer, a Jedi, maybe used to be, but they're very funny. The dialogue is very, very good. But what I wanted to say before, I don't think Saw is going to be too pleased to see her because he just seems so far removed from what he was in the introduction. Such a good movie so far. The characters are super interesting. The dialogue is very good. The script is good. I like it. I'm wondering how this will go. Jen, I can't believe it. What made them fall out? What happened? Because clearly he's not doing great. Did she leave because she was deteriorating very bad? Or did she do something in the end? Hmm, must be quite the surprise. Are we not still friends? The last time I saw you, you gave me a knife and loaded blaster and told me to wait in a bunker till daylight. I knew you were safe. You left me behind. Ooh. I was 16. I was protecting you. You dumped me. You no. were the daughter of an Imperial science officer. So this was your best way to handle that? To give her a knife and a blaster in a <laughs> bunker and leave her? There was no other way, no one you could have entrusted her to? She was 16 still though. You're probably gonna mature very quickly in a world like this, but really? Hmm, I, I can see why she's holding a grudge. After her father started working for the Empire again with no mother, she probably clinged to him as a young child and then to be betrayed for what perhaps feels for her again, that's gonna be rough. Not a day goes by that I don't think of you. It's a trap. What? Isn't it? Oh no. The pilot. Yeah, he's he's gone. He's so paranoid. What made him so paranoid? Oh no. Did they send you? Oh no, boy! To kill me. Babe, no. There's not much of me left. Oh, oh, that hurt me. Oh, that, that really hurt me. There's not much of me left. 
and you can clearly see there isn't much left of him. Ah, okay! They think he sent you a message about a weapon. So what is it that you want? That is curious. Good question. They wanted an introduction, they've got it. I'm out now. I don't think it's only for her to get Scott free out of jail. There's more to it than that. What is it you want? Good question, sir. You might not have much of you left, but there's still something great in there. Still a man of insight. You care not about the cause. The cause never brought me his pain. You can stand to see the Imperial flag rain across the galaxy. It's not a problem if you don't look up. Mm, bury your head in the sand to protect yourself. The Emperor is awaiting my report. One would hope that he and Lord Vader might have been here for such an occasion. Yeah! And I stand ready to destroy the entire moon. The Holy City will be enough for today. Target Jedi City. This is what Cassian was talking about. The city is about to blow. No, 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 wait for me! No! Back off! Back off! Oh, I thought he said fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! What's wrong with him? Well, he got... You know. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna blow! We need to get out of here! Yes. So. If you are watching this, That's daddy. Then perhaps there's a chance to save the Alliance. A chance for Jen. If she's alive, oh. if you can possibly find her. My love for her has never faded. My stardust. I can't imagine what you think of me. I lied. I learned to lie. I played the part of a beaten man with... I lied. I learned to lie because he was a bad liar before. Did he mess with the Death Star? I made myself indispensable. We call it the Death Star. I've placed a weakness deep within the system. A flaw so small and powerful they will never find it. But Luke will! The pain of not having you with me. That loss is so overwhelming I risk failing even now. Oh. Stardust. Can you imagine his Death Star being the one thing that actually kills his daughter? Imagine how much pain that would bring him. Oh. His ultimate revenge. What we know is that small, tiny little spot of weakness that leads to the core of the Death Star, which could be taking advantage of to destroy the entire weapon. And we know who's gonna do that later. The reactor module, that's the key. That's the place I've laid my trap. One blast to any part of it will destroy the entire station. Ooh. Draw plans for the Death Star to find the reactor. At the Citadel Tower on Scarif, we'll destroy the entire thing. So that is how the rebels, the, 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 the rebel alliance knew about the fault in the Death Star. <gasps> Thank you, Gavin, Gallen, Matt Mickelson. Thank you. That's, oh, I like that. So they will probably most likely succeed because we know in A New Hope what's going to happen. Because Luke is going to pilot his way into that weakness and with one blast destroy the entire Death Star. So they will have to steal the plans to destroy the very thing he helped build. Oh, no, 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 that's good. Well, that was too much for her. She couldn't handle all of that. I mean, if my daddy was Matt Mickelson, I totally understand. Oof! Dude, where are you? There you are. I'm standing by as you requested, <laughs> although there's a problem on the horizon. Get out of there, kids! There's no horizon. Oof. Are we gonna bring Saw to? Gotta go. Know where your father is. Come with us. I will run no longer. Go. You're I just willing to die? Save the dream. He was too far gone, wasn't he? How very sad. I mean, she did care for him in a way. Beautiful. That's one way to put it. This gotta be close. This gotta be close. The mystic about our all. That's not. <laughs> But may the odds be ever in your favor. Oh, he's still kicking. Not for long, though, I fear. Oh, wow. He took one final deep breath. Why is this movie kind of fucking good? Woo! Jesus Christ. Beautiful transition there. Not what I expected from Star Wars, though. <laughs> I believe I owe you an apology, Director Krennic. You'll tell the Emperor as much. 
I would tell him that his patience with your misadventures has been rewarded with a weapon that will bring a swift end to the rebellion. The Still an underlying insult in the compliment. Why you always gotta be so competitive? <laughs> I will tell him that I will be taking control over the weapon I first spoke of years ago, effective immediately. Wow. After all that? Stand here amidst my achievement, not yours! Galen Erso's facility. Oh God. Oh God, they were aware. Tell him my orders still stand. Okay, my orders still stand because he mentioned there will be no extraction. You kill him. I thought he was talking about Saw, but instead he's talking about her father. Well, that would make sense, yes. We have to kill Galen Erso while we have the chance. Yeah. Okay, so the other rebels are aware of the plan, but they just didn't mention it while she was in the room because it's still her father. I was wondering that. Oops, she's not gonna like that. Understood. And calls for Edu. Is that where my father is? Oof. I think so. To your Galen's daughter. You brought the message? Yes. I said I can make it right if oh. I was brave enough. We can beat the people who did this. Father's message. It's gonna be very hard for him to actually pull the mission through because if it turns out to be that daddy is actually a very good person like he is inspiring this pilot and the message he still sent to his daughter man i don't think he's gonna be able to do it and if he hmm because he had such not a willingness but there was no doubt in his mind when he first killed that man in the very beginning when he was first introduced there was no hesitation there i sense some hesitation coming through and in the end you can see this is my theory this is my prediction in the end he can't kill the father the same way he killed the man in the beginning because he will have a character arc that will make him grow and perhaps he will see that goodness in the father or he will grow close to her and in turn he can't do it because of her i i don't know i see him not if he still takes the shot i would be very surprised You're wrong about my father he did build it because he knew they'd do it without him he sacrificed himself for the rebellion He's rigged a trap inside it. You have that message, right? Oh, man. You don't believe me? I'm not the one you gotta convince. I oh. believe her. He still got that mission, though. Oh, this should be good. He still got the mission from the rebellion to kill him. Oops. <laughs> Oops. What if they're too late to save him in the end? Ah, no, not Matt Mickelson. The signal's gone dead. Squadron up. Target Edu. Oh no, that's gonna cause more trouble. Cause I want the daddy to live, but I fear the worst for him. Here's what we're doing. Bodhi, you're coming with me. We'll go up the ridge and check it out. I'm coming with you. No, your father's message. We can't risk it. Two words fixing their comms. He's frustrated. I think he's rather frustrated because he's getting so much information and he's in conflict with himself, at least. Maybe he will be. It's an Andor. Why do you ask that? What, what do you mean? Does he look like a killer? The force moves darkly near a creature that's about to kill. Oh! The force creeps darkly around a person that's about to kill. So his mindset is still to very much kill her father. I'll be right behind you. <laughs> Liar. I don't, I'm not sure we can trust Captain Andor here. Because he did comfort the man in the beginning, only to shoot him in the end, so I wouldn't put my faith in him. I still have hopes for him, though. Where are you going? I'm gonna follow Jin! Good lord! I don't need love! I have you! Cute. Oh, there he is. We would recognize Matt Mickelson anywhere, I get it. I mean, how can you not keep your eyes on him? <laughs> Oh no, it's the other one arriving, knowing of the betrayal. Excellent news, Galen. Oh. The battle station is complete. Must be very proud. Proud as I can be, Trinity. Good lines. Such good lines, because he, he lies, because he has learned to lie, but here he is not lying. Proud as I can be. Which is probably not a lot, but then again, it's not a lie. It's the truth he's telling. Is he proud? Proud as he can be. It's a good line though. It, it's a line you can think about. It's a line that people have put a lot of thought into. And I enjoy that when the script is good. One of you betrayed the Empire. Fired with a pilot to send messages to the Rebellion. <laughs> Daddy is like, not me! Very well, I'll consider it a group effort then. Fuck. 
Ready? Hey. He's gonna step forward, is he? Stop! 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 It was me! I knew it. It was me! Oh, wow. That saved him. Ironically, that saved him. Yeah. Oh no, I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna call him, backing him in. So he's out of the line of fire and then he's gonna shoot. How? I'm gonna bet on it. How much? How much are we gonna bet on it? You all donate 50 bucks, okay? I'm kidding. Fire! Who's clever? Who's clever? I'm clever. You'll never win. Now where have I heard that before? His wife. Shit! 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 That's kind of badass though. Look at the squad. I am one with the force. The force is with me. Girl! Get out of there! No! Is he gonna help her? Oh hell yeah! Captain Andor alright! I like him. So that is why the series is called Andor because it's about him probably. Oh! No! Why would you do? Did daddy get blasted? Are they okay? Oh, come on. I need a dramatic send-off like Luke and Vader at least. Where is Matt Mickelson? I ask that question every day in my life. Where is he? <laughs> what? No! It reminds me where Obi-Wan taught Luke on the ship where he had to mask his eyes and just rely on feeling the force. And that is what he is doing. And I love that. It's a bit of a callback. And his force is just so strong that he can sense it so well. And he hits the mark every time. It's so good. Oh, no. Did he pretend to be dead? Ow! Ooh, honey! Papa! Papa, it's me! Papa! Starburst. Oh! Papa! Our speed is destroyed. We will. Jen, look at you. I have so much to tell you. Oh, and there's no time. Really? No! Matt Mickelson! He's too pretty to die. No, Papa, no! No! Papa, come on! No! Ooh, Andor! Get your girl, Andor! Yeah, go, come on! No, Listen. we can't sleep! Matt Mickelson! We barely even knew him! Yeah, I appreciate that dramatic zoom in on Matt Mickelson. I really do. Ah, uh, he was a good man. That's what we know. I like that Andor, Captain Andor, came back for her. He couldn't kill him in the end. He defied orders. But in the end, he still died. So the rebellion has what it essentially wanted. Ah, oh, how fucking sad. I don't trust us low until we clear the storm. I'm storm. He's fiery. You can see it in his expression and the way he moves. You lied to me. You're in shock. <laughs> Whoa, wow. Do not do that. Oh, that's like, you don't know what you're talking about. Calm down. Oh, yikes. I'm going to dismiss all of your feelings. <laughs> yeah. Not that you kill my father. You don't know what you're talking about. They know. You lied about why we came here, and you lied about why you went up alone. I had every chance to pull the trigger. But did I? I had orders. Orders that I disobeyed. They wouldn't understand that. Orders? When you know they're wrong. Well, hmm, that's most of the time a big issue. Are you going to follow the orders from your superiors and trust in your superiors? Or are you going to think mostly for yourself and think, ooh, is this something I can stand behind? And in the end, he couldn't do it. So he did think for himself, but again, yeah, the Alliance did bomb him, but he was not directly responsible for it in this case scenario. He did try and stop it, and he did come back for her. So I get both points, I do. It's just a very complicated and complex matter in this case. We don't all have the luxury of deciding when and where we want to care about something. Certainly the rebellion is real for you. I've been in this fight since I was six years old. 
Good acting. Not the only one who lost everything. And he's right, because she does... I'm so sorry I keep pausing. It's just so many interesting dialogues and lines in this movie. He's right, because she does decide when she cares or does not care for something. Example, the child. Example, stepping in front of the drone. Example, of course, her father. And in, then, in other cases, she does not care at all. He doesn't have the luxury of doing that. He's following the orders that the rebellion gives him because he was fighting since he was six years old. He's been fighting this war and he doesn't know any better. Most of us just decided to do something about it. And not stick their heads in the sand. Talk your way around this. I don't have to. Why is this movie so good? I feel like the dialogue is so great in this one. Anybody else? Much better than the prequels. <laughs> I love the prequels, don't get me wrong. The emotional connections there and the actors, but here the lines are very good. Oh, we're back at Mordor. Wait, is this where Vader will be? Please let it be Vader. I want Vader time. Come on, we all need the daddy. Addy, is that you? Oh, it might be. He's in the... <gasps> it's daddy. Oh, I love that Daddy Vader is back. Darth Vader. I mean no disrespect when I say Daddy Vader. Only appreciation. Oh, I love that he's here. Oh, I, I do love that he's here. My apologies. His voice is different than compared to Obi-Wan. Not that it's bad, it's just, it's noticeable. Let you not to rest until you can assure the Emperor that Galen Erso has not compromised this weapon in any way. Of course not. You'll speak to the Emperor about Oh my god, he does not appreciate that. Yep, I figured. He's done with your bullshit. Be careful not to choke on your aspirations, Director. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Only now managed to gather our forces. Gather I love that he's here. He's telling the truth. We need to act now! Counselors, please. If the Empire has this kind of power, what chance do we have? What chance well, do we have? Aren't rebellions built on hope? You give way to an enemy this evil with this much power, and you condemn the galaxy to an eternity of submission. The time to fight is now! Yes! Yes! We capture the Death Star plans if there's any hope of destroying it. Hope is what we need. A new hope. Asking us to invade an Imperial installation based on nothing but hope. That's kind of the theme here. Rebellions are built on hope. Bitch! Who's good? The odds are too great. That's lackluster. They're gonna go without permission. Rogue One is gonna go, baby! We got a pilot! We have a pilot! We got a captain! You don't look happy. I never look happy. Force is strong. I'm not sure four of us is quite enough. Where's the captain? What are you talking about? Oh, there he is. Oh! We're never gonna believe you. I appreciate the support. But I do. Oh. I believe you. Marry me. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> that was a proposal, though. If you're, if you're backing me up like that, okay, we're getting hitched. <laughs> He's a good man, Savannah. A good man! <laughs> Who cares if you try to kill your dad, right? Well done terrible things on behalf of the rebellion. I told myself it was for a cause that I believed in. Oh, sorry, I, I need to pause again because you tend to forget in the war against the Empire that only the Empire is doing all of these awful things to win the war. But the rebellion has to unfortunately do and succumb to all of these awful things to get ahead and to keep up with the Empire for a worthy cause. So you're gonna justify assassination, murder, thievery, whatever you can think of for a worthy cause, because that apparently justifies it all. And you tend to forget that, because once you're in a war, war is not pretty from either side, but you tend to forget that, because the Empire, evil, the Rebellion, good. I like that you're reminded that no, both sides need to do pretty despicable things to win a war. I couldn't face myself if I gave up now. Captain Andor. None of us could. Oh. Cramped, but we'd all, we'd all fit. How cute! Why do I already like these characters? I really do. Hey, you're up. They're good characters. Jin, I'll be there for you. 
Cassian said I had to. <laughs> the tough come on! <laughs> no. I'm used to people sticking around when things go bad. That's why we hit him. Ooh. Ooh, that's why we marry him, girl. He's a good man, Savannah. <laughs> May the force be with us. <laughs> Make daddy proud. Papa. Read back, please. What's going on out there? Nothing. It's your call sign, pilot. Rogue? One. Rogue one. Hey! Rogue one. End movie! If anyone can get the plans, it's them. 0608, you are cleared for entry. Oh, oh, oh. We all cheer and give ourselves away. <laughs> Citadel Tower. They keep all the Imperial structural archives in there. What about Death Star plans? They happen to be there too. <laughs> it takes a lot of signal to send those data files out. And oh. Saw Guerrero used to say, one fighter with a sharp stick, nothing left to lose can take the day. Can make it to the ground, we'll take the next chance. And the next. On and on until we win, or well, the chances are spent. We'll find a way to find them. Elsie, find a position between here and the tower. Light the place up. <laughs> I love that she is like, we'll find a way to find them. And it's very clear that she doesn't have much of a plan. But they're gonna go on until there's no chances left. And then he steps in and he's like, okay, this is what you're gonna do. Actually having some insight <laughs> compared to, you know what? We'll make sure we'll find them. <laughs> I know I she did very well, honestly. I, I would be very inspired by her. By both of them, but it's just the contrast is kind of funny. Ten men feel like a hundred. Right, right. Nice! Right. Spartans! You're the only way out of here. Oh, that's pretty. Didn't expect that from the Empire. I expected more lava. I would like a position here, please, Daddy Vader. Oh, let's go! Well, come on in! Come on. Little sister. Little sister? That's so sweet. They're so warm. Are you pissed? I've got a bad feeling about me. Quiet. <laughs> I love that because they have used that line so many times. I'm also watching the Clone Wars series on my Patreon and they use that line so many times and I love that they're like, you know what? Shut up. <laughs> Witty, witty movie. I like you. We need a map. Well, I'm sure there's one just lying about. <laughs> oh, yes! I love his action scenes. They are the most interesting by far. Well, he's a close second. I don't need luck. I have you. The more route to the data vault places only 89 stormtroopers in our path. Oh, only 89? Piece of cake. <laughs> Light it up. Light it up, pop, pop. Oh! <laughs> Come on. Ooh, that's gonna pay some notice. Oh, look at that. Are we blind? Deploy the garrison. Move. I'm not gonna period. Are we gonna see more of Daddy Vader, or is that just a little cameo? Because I kind of want Daddy Vader to go full rage. <laughs> Oh, I love his weapons. I want to speak with Director Krennic. He's there, sir. Prepare for the jump to hyperspace and inform Lord Vader. <gasps> yes! Lord Vader! Also, how many years or how much time is this set between this movie and A New Hope? Because it seems very closely together. Can I help you? That won't be necessary. <laughs> He loves doing that. Rebels on Scarif. He's going to fight. Ooh! Oh, the little smirk, like... Oh boy. Yeah, this is very close together because there's so many familiar faces from A New Hope. May the force be with you. May the force Scarif. be with you. They're going to Scarif. Oh, C-3PO! R2! Pass reports in immediately. Oh no, we have rebels everywhere. Pad 2, Pad 2. I spot 40 rebels heading west on Pad 2. Get on there, tell me, pin down my rebels on pad 5. Nice, good job. Distract them, very clever. Pad 10, pad 8, please confirm. Confirm and report. How romantic. We're gonna do something with the transition, right? Transmitter. Why is he so annoyed? Oh, that's why he's so annoyed! I was like, why 
Travis, he looks so tired all of a sudden. <laughs> he already felt it coming. <laughs> He's like, oh shit. <laughs> Why is this so cool? Whoa, look at that. Whoa. Radish of the Rebel Alliance. Admiral, this is Blue Leader standing by. This is this cool. This is Gold Leader. Gold standing Leader, by. baby. Come on. Lock down. And close the shield. Do it! Squadron, get to the servers before they close that gate! They're getting through, they're getting through, they're getting through! Come on! Pull up! Shit! No, no, no! They've closed the shield gate. What does that mean? We're trapped? Yeah. Transmit the plans to the rebel fleet. Someone has to take that shield gate down. Boogie, Boogie, can you hear me? You gotta tell them to blow a hole in the shield gate so we can transmit the plans. Why are we getting them out of here? Fine. I'm really worried about something right now because it's the only way we're getting the data out of there. Because I think they're gonna sacrifice themselves for it. I, I'm fearing the worst. I obviously hope that's not the case, but oof. They're trapped. The only way we're getting the data out is by transmitter. Not with us. You'll need this. Oh, why does she get a blaster and not- Your behavior, Janessa, is continually unexpected. That's why she's a rogue. Oh. Woo! Hey, boy! Oh, RPG! <laughs> well, that didn't do shit! <laughs> His face! He's like, what? Fuck! Well, I did all the heavy lifting! <laughs> That's inspiring. A master switch. Get them to activate the connection between us and that comms tower. Then go! <laughs> then go! <laughs> Let's start probing that shield! Yes. yes! That's the plan. This is exciting. Oh, now I feel kind of bad for that one. Damn, the Rebel Alliance is cool. What am I supposed to do with this? I love that he's so done with everything. No, 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 we're good. Rebels, they went over there. Okay, what's going on now? Sh shut up! Oh, well. <laughs> well, you tried. Damn. <gasps> That's why you got your blaster, babe. Good job. Whoa, nice. Whoa. Why are they all so badass? Oh, don't hit the tower, though. Don't hit the transmitting tower. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. What? Stardust. That's it. That's it. Daddy. That's it. That's it. That's it. I know that. Oh, I know that. I know because it's me. Stardust. You, identify yourself. I can... Ah! Oh, on. That was a lucky one. Stardust. Oh no, I'm worried. Oh, oh! That's it. Oh no, 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 no! Climb! Climb! Cast from the tower! Locking the bolt door now! Okay! Goodbye! Ah! Goodbye. Oh, he was such a good troll. I can't believe I didn't cry with Matt Mickelson dying, but I cried because of Kay. <laughs> oh no. I knew that would happen. And beats under control! <laughs> He's so emotional. <laughs> I can't get to the shuttle. If the shield's open, we can send the plant. Cover him! Cover him! Shit. Good job, good job. Not blue too! Oh, I'm so scared they're gonna hit the tower. Shh, sorry, Blue. No, no. Oh, my fear of heights could never. I need an open line. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, no. I'm going. Yeah, you're not going. You're not going anywhere. I've got it. Please don't fall. Girl, girl, I knew it. Did she get it? Okay, thank God. Oh, a lot of trust in that little clip, though. A lot of trust. No! Yo, we, we're not gonna lose Captain Andor, though, right? I don't wanna... And I definitely don't wanna lose you. Is he gonna let the Force guide him again? I'm one with the Force. The Force is with me. 
If I lose him, I will. Sherrod! Sherrod, no! Why are they all so brave? <laughs> I'm one with the force and the force with me. Why is this rather beautiful? Yes, come back! I love the force. That's so much faith. The blind man does it. But he's so much more than that. I'm one with the force and the force is with me. Cassian! Cassian! Shit! He came back for you! Oh no! no I don't need luck, I have you. Don't go. It's okay. For the force. Oh, you will always find me. Oh no. Force is with me. I'm one with the force. Oh, and I'm one with the force. I knew that would happen. Engine power, sir. The losers. There's Rogue One calling any Alliance ships that can hear me. Is there anybody out there? This is Rogue One! Come in, hold on! This is Admiral Redis, Rogue One! We hear you! Come on, come on, come on! Have the plans. They found the Death Star plans. They have to transmit them from the communications tower. You have to take down the shield gate. Call up a Hammerhead Corvette. I have an idea. Nice! Stand by, Rogue One. We're on it! This is for you, Galen. Oh... Yeah, because Galen believes in the pilots. Oh, fuck. Come on. Come on. I'm mad now. I'm the first. God damn it. He got it out in time though. I know, I knew they were all gonna sacrifice themselves. Shit. Oh, and he goes out willingly. Oh, this is so sad. Only the plans are gonna go through, aren't they? Nobody else. Ah! Full power. Fucking cool, no way! Are they gonna do what I think they're gonna do? Because they lost control of the ship and are gonna thrust it into the shields? Oh my god! My fear of heights! Ah! Oh, that's gonna draw notice. Oh no! Come on, are they gonna do what I think we're gonna do? Well, that's pretty cool too, though. Oh my god! Ow! Oh, I felt that! And they're gonna bust down into the shield. Tenor aligned. Ready to transmit. Oh my god! No! My fear of heights, people! Come on! He's like, you know what? I'm gonna go back down. <laughs> that won't be me, you know? It's not worth it. <laughs> Boy, get your dramatic ass away from Who me. Who are you? Britney, bitch. <laughs> I'm Jin Erso. You've lost. He put a fuse in the middle of your machine, and I've just told the entire galaxy how to light it. The shield is up. Your signal will never reach the rebel base. You die with the rebellion. Cassian? Cassian. Wow. Music. Oh, yes! I knew that's what they were gonna do! <gasps> and the shield is down! Come on, transmit, transmit. Transmit! <laughs> Receiving transmission from Scarif! They're gonna die, aren't they? They're gonna die. No. Hey, leave it! Leave it! Let's go! Admiral, we have the plan! Yes! <laughs> Anybody's listening? Someone's out there. Target to the base at Scarif. Single reactor ignition. No, 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 no. They're gonna go, they're gonna go out. They're gonna sacrifice everyone on the planet. Jesus. Oh, your creation. Come as far when ready. That is so tragic. I knew no one was gonna make it out. Through the transmitter, just in time. Rogue One, may the Force be with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh! It's all because of you that Luke was willing, able, to pick up where you left off. Father would have been proud of you, Jen. I'm proud of you. 
Oh no! They decided to care about it. No! Why? They had comfort in each other in their final moments, but that is so sad. Everyone who went out as Rogue One died. May the force be with you. Oh, they got it though, they got it. It wasn't all for freaking nothing, right? Is it Vader? Shut up, is it Vader? It's gonna be Vader, isn't it? so the plans could go through. That was incredible. What a good scene, a terrifying scene. Prepare the escape pods. Your Highness, the transmission we received. <gasps> what is it they've sent us? Oh, Leia. Hope. Hope, because a rebellion is built on it. Oh, it's right before a new hope. So good! I am blown away by this movie. This was amazing. Oh, that might be my favorite out of all the movies. I am not gonna lie. Uh, I now know why you wanted me to watch this. Whoa! That, that, the hype is real. That was so good! That was so good! I'm still, like, over my head. I, I don't even know where to start. This was... Wow. A New Hope. This is right before A New Hope! I knew that! But it's confirmed, it's cool, it's amazing! Jesus! I want to watch Andor now. Maybe in private? In private? <laughs> but that was... Shit! That was really good! I'm... I'm... Speechless. I don't even know what to say. Honestly, just wow. What a good, terrific, tragic, and amazing movie. This was amazing. This this might be my favorite out of the Star Wars movies and series that I watch. I felt like everything about it was so intriguing. The dialogue was great, witty, smart. The characters were likable. Rogue One was likable. And it was so sad to see them all perish in the end. But in the end, they made it. And can we talk about that last scene with Darth Vader cutting his way to get the plans and they all trying to desperately get the door open and sacrifice themselves, throwing themselves at Vader to give the others more time so they can get the plans out while Vader is terrifying, cutting his way through. <gasps> Such a badass scene. They were terrified of him. I was terrified of him. Because normally I'm like, oh, Vader, he's so cool, he's powerful. Whoa, look at his powerful moves. So much strength behind them. This is the first time I was actually terrified of him. Oh, uh, wow. I'm blown away. I'm not gonna lie. This was a really good movie. I immensely enjoyed it. I mean, I laughed a lot because of the lines and I cried so much because I had a feeling that none of Rogue One was gonna make it out alive and only the data was gonna be able to get through again. I just, I, 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 I should have expected the Death Star to make an appearance in the end, but I somehow didn't. And to see the Death Star appear up in the horizon. It was very poetic in the end. One of the creators of the Death Star is watching his creation be his doom and everyone else Rogue One perish along with it. Oh man, even the pilot was sad and the thing is they all accepted it so gracefully almost. It was... oh my god. 
It's just a movie. <sighs> Why do I always cry so much? <laughs> Uh, it, you just feel so much empathy and also the characters were very complex and interesting about the main character, Jin. I mean, she does what she wanted, but there were very many. She had so many times to shine that there was so much good in her with the child, with Kay. And then in the end, she dies for her cause, for the rebellion, for her father, for everyone because she wasn't able to put her head in the sand anymore if you look down you don't see the flag and here she was she perished for what she believed in and now there is hope a new hope a rebellion is built on hope that was beautiful i loved the characters i loved the character cassian that he came back in the end and he was set out to kill her father at first and then he each time he helps her he comes back for her it's oh man i loved it i loved the pilot i loved the two i i don't think if i don't know if they were brothers or just friends but the one with the force and the force is with me and then he comforts him in his death and then not too long after he dies with that same mantra in his mind to respect his friend ay 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 that was really really good <sighs> And then A New Hope. Ah, oh, Jesus, this was so cool. I really want to watch Andor. I know it's before... <laughs> ah, I'm emotional. I know it's before Rogue One, but I really wanted to see and watch Rogue One with an open mind where I had no... I had no knowledge of these characters at all. I didn't need that. Because the movie and the storytelling is good enough for me to care about these characters already. But I'm really interested in learning more now. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. I do hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. I, again, I don't, I don't know what else to say. All, all I can say is that I am very impressed with Rogue One. One of my favorites for sure. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Tell me what movie or series I should watch next. Subscribe if you for some reason have not already. And I guess I will see you in the very next video. See ya!